actually earlier when there was a conversation about um, like publicly owned utilities versus like cooperatively owned um, energy, like I was kind of thinking in my head, is it possible for those to coexist? Because it's really important for um, like the case of Uprose is like, uh, you know, low income people, people of color coming together to cooperatively own their power supply, um, which, you know, and to kind of create energy storage systems and actually have the panels in the neighborhood and actually do the outreach kind of in a hub from the community organization um, that can kind of integrate both the popular education aspect and the energy supply aspect. So did you want to? Well, I, I agree with that, but I also think like regulation and scale yeah. are key, you know, like we can do these isolated efforts and feel good about them and provide like help, you know, or support to these communities. But if you don't have the structure who's actually closing the gaps, yeah. It's gonna become like this system that we, you know, like a checkbox. Totally. We have like people of color doing this clean energy, and that's very that's problematic.